Welcome back to Wee's Coast Gaming, everyone. This is episode 4 of Rooftops and Alleys. Last episode, I teased that we were going to be taking a look at the third map, the school, but uh, there was actually a new update that dropped last week that features, uh, that features swing bars, which at the time of the video's release are exclusive to the game's newest map, The Shed. Major props to the dev, actually, because there's been another update. That update came out last week um, with some new outfits and I believe some bug fixes, so the dev is super active. That's really good. So, this is the Shed map, which is a practice parkour gym, and I think it's a nice alternative to the other two maps we've played so far. I have some more thoughts on this, but I'd like to share those in, uh, in another video discussing all the maps. Um, right now we're just flying around the map in the pigeon mode that we uh, have recently discovered. I think it's a great way to just scope out a map before you, before you try it out, check out some lines. It actually looks like there are a ton of great lines here, so I am stoked to jump in, so let's do that. Okay, right from the start here, I'm seeing some swing bars down this ramp. So let's go give those a try. Okay, you can jump, press the left trigger to lache. Nice. That's the proper name for the swing, I guess. Miss that swing bar up there, no problem. Getting back into the game, haven't played in a little bit. I wanted to do this video sooner, actually, but I'm a little busy, but I'm back. I'm back. I'm excited about this new update. The Lachets seem to be cool. I think once they add them to some other maps, that'll be excellent. Okay. Oh! I don't know what I did there. Unfortunate. Try to get into it. Let's try to get into the swing of things again. Oh, not quite. Okay. No worries, we'll try again. Let's set the marker here. Oh, almost. Ooh, okay, that was that was pretty close. Yeah, pretty close. Okay, no worries. Practice makes perfect. We'll come back. Let's start from here. Actually, oh yeah, let's see if we can... We'll get all the way up there. Right, and then... That's pretty close. Okay, we get too much momentum into that wall, so I feel like I have to do it off of the last one, which is really low. That didn't get me any time to do tricks, but at least, uh, at least it 
was able to successfully do all the wall runs. There we go, that was a little trick. Alright, and here's the thing I, I learned the other day. I'm still not very good at it, but you can... You can jump at walls and like j jump off of them. Wall eject. There's two of them. Oh. Okay, actually, I want to set my line marker up at the top there. Oh, I forgot to hit the marker again. Well, we should start remembering to do that. There it is. Distractable. No, I didn't want to flip there. I actually didn't want to flip there. Double tap the A button. alternative routes around. Okay, let's practice those ejects. Now I wonder, can I go back and forth in an eject? You can't help but wonder these things. Like here. Can I even get one here? What happened there? What are they? Hey! We did it! Okay. Practice this one again. Because this is actually a really tough. Like, 
it seems easy because it's like, oh, you just press left trigger, but you have to really maintain stick control to navigate the course. Oh, no, no, I didn't want to flip. I okay. I think we can do this though, actually. I was trying to do there. Yep. Excellent. Okay, let's go this way this time. We can just go to the left. Oh no, I thought I had the timing there to grab onto that ledge, but not quite. Not quite. Hmm. Let's start back again here. Fancy. We can just run straight through him. Okay, I'll try this one again. Jump up here too. Live and wall run, right? Okay, come on, the mark up here. I just get so caught up in the flow. actually. Oh no, help I fall and I can't get up.
doodle gun, yeah. Do I have time? That's the real question. Yeah, no, I did not have time. Not a bad line, not a bad line to play to I blow it there at the end. Oh no. I always want to make that jump, but I don't, I don't know if you can. Eject yourself off a wall run too, instead of just a normal jump. Okay, let's try this again here. Close, close. myself there across that that's unfortunate okay this one looks fun
No! I hit the wrong button. Okay. Well, it's just an excuse to practice running back over there, I guess. No. Nope. Gotta do it without failing. Actually, but I missed. All right, let's walk back down the obstacle we're trying to get up. No, please. Alright, we're gonna try that again. That's a pretty good pretty good line though. Okay, let's try from back here. Okay, so we got some options. Got some options for how we can approach this. allowed. Okay. Okay. Not as good as the last run, but we'll still we'll still try still try to make it to the finish line. No. Nice. Okay. I'm pretty happy with that. Let's see if we can do it another way. bail, so I'll still take that. We did a little bit different.
pretty good run too. Let's beat that run. Okay, so I wonder... I have an idea about that. Okay, that actually... I flipped over it. Didn't need the uh, reset button. Going back over here, no problem. Interesting. It's kind of fun just to practice some of these things over and over again. It's so funny. The slow mo. It's hard to know when to jump, though. Slow mo is like a trick almost in itself. Thought I had a backflip in me there. Okay, this map is really fun. For such a compact map, there is a lot of density here. Tons of different areas to practice your combos. Different lines. Yeah, this is awesome. Oh no. Actually, I had to get back over to that end there. Well, I'll just press side flip. You know, I fell a couple times there. We're setting new markers, we're not allowed to fall. Unless I did that earlier in the video. That's shame on me. Dang it. Yeah, this area, is, this, this area down here is cool. All, all the swing bars and the, the different height ledges you can jump over. I 
wonder if, if there... There is, okay, yeah. Can't climb up there because there is a railing. Makes sense. Yeah, the terrain here though lends to tons of different versatile play styles. I always double tap A in the air when I don't mean to. I need to keep my hands off that button. Unless I'm on the ground. I thought I rolled there. Yeah, so many different options though for traversing all the di different obstacles. All in all, I think this map's really great for practicing. I think it's really good. I'll be doing some more practicing before the next episode. And uh, in, in that next episode, we're going to be taking a look at uh, finally map 3, a school. So I think, I think that just what does it for episode 4, the shed and swing bars. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. We'll catch you next time. Peace.